Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. The Minnesota Vikings are going to entertain the thought of another division championship. The next six weeks are going to be telling four divisional opponents over the next six weeks. And it all starts Monday night against the Chicago Bears, who gave Detroit about everything they can handle. Let's take a look at this Bears team with Justin Fields being back. What are the Vikings going to have to do to be victorious on Monday Night Football? Now, it wouldn't be a Chicago Bears film room if we didn't do the obligatory, just throw it. Justin Fields off a few weeks with the thumb injury. He's back. Against these Detroit Lions, what, what, what concerns me are the opportunities that Fields had and maybe some progress that he made. So let's take a look at this. On this first play, you're going to see Darnell Mooney's up here in the slot. And Fields is going to get exactly what a quarterback would want to see in this situation. As the ball is snapped, they're sending a shallow crosser, but they have a deep route. And right here, Justin Fields needs to know. Middle open, two safeties on the outside. This linebacker, however, has his back turned to the quarterback. That means he's in charge of the deep middle. Now you have Darnell Mooney against a linebacker in the deep middle, good pocket, Throw the ball, baby. Throw it deep. Take that shot. And as this play develops, you can see Mooney, he's just blowing by that linebacker. You have a lot of room out here, but he decides to take the short route. They still get the first down, but he's leaving a lot of meat on the bone. And you got to keep an eye on Justin Fields. Now, they ran Justin Fields quite a bit against Detroit. I don't think he'll run as much against the Vikings, but they're trying to set some things up. This is exactly what they're trying to set up, and that's really an RPO type situation. He's in a sidecar, running back, fake it. But look again at the middle of the field. You have a middle open coverage. You have a receiver, Mooney again, against what? A linebacker underneath. Look at all this room in the middle of the field. This, he's, this is the throw. Make it, throw it to the middle of the field. There are opportunities down the field. That's what concerns me. But week in and week out, whenever we see fields, he'll step up in the pocket. Now he starts to scramble. Now he makes a great throw to DJ Moore, but the easy throw, the big throw is still there. Another example of Justin Fields having opportunities down the field. In this case, we have a middle close coverage. Again, taking it deep, but you have this receiver running across the middle of the field. He's gonna occupy this safety. There's a nice big gap that's gonna open up. Fields' eyes are right here. He's looking at DJ Moore, but this time, he sees the rush. Look at this route coming open. Look at all this space. Again, another easy completion down the middle of the field that's left on the table. Another example, right? Two backs in the backfield. Don't see that much anymore. Cole Komet in motion. This is kind of what you want. You get the downhill action, you get the linebacker stepping up, and look at the options that Fields has at the top of his drop. He has Mooney right here at the middle of the field. You also have DJ Moore on the out route. Take, the, take either one of these, but throw the football now. And as you can see, he's just getting set up. And then because he waits a little bit, it gives the safety some time to get over there and break up the play. But he had two options that were wide open. But finally, watch this play. This is as good a field as I've seen in quite some time. All right, again, Darnell Mooney, DJ Moore up on top. He gets to the top of his drop, Fields steps up, but look at this situation. He has a ton of room here to pull this thing down and run the football, but his eyes are down the field. The safety is still higher than the receiver, but he knows he has this relationship. Watch what Fields does. He steps up and delivers a bomb. If Fields can do this consistently, he's gonna take his game to a whole nother level. Now, the other side of Fields you have to worry about, it's his ability to make something out of nothing. And you're gonna see kind of a gotcha play that goes wrong for the Chicago Bears. They wanna get this tailback out here and get him on a wheel route. They're, they're, they're looking to get this trick play, but it's covered. So they have nothing. They wanna attack this lane over here. Nothing going on. This is where Fields, his athleticism takes over and he can still make something happen. There's nothing for him to go there, so he reels out to the opposite outside, finds more, and his ability to keep the eyes down the field can be dangerous. Another thing that stood out about the Bears game against the Lions is that the Bears attacked the outside. They attacked the edges in the running game. They attacked the edges in the passing game. 
Wanted to show an end zone view because this is just how good this throw is. Justin Fields in a pistol sidecar. There's that kind of RPO type of look. He rolls out. Look at him moving. Now, he sets up. You see one receiver here, but he has Mooney streaking across the field. Just watch this throw. He's booting away from his throwing arm, but still has the athletic ability to set and deliver a dime. So if the Bears are able to do this and Fields can be unmolested on the outside, he can pick you apart. Another end zone view of Fields doing what he does, and it reminds me a lot of Dante Culpepper back in the day, his ability to scramble, get to the outside, strong arm, accurate. But again, here's that look, but they're gonna fake the quarterback keeper and he's gonna roll out the other way. He has a short option here, but watch this throw that he makes down the field. Again, eyes the short, Goes down the field, throws the ball to the back shoulder because he knows that corner is sitting there waiting for the catch. Beautiful play by Justin Fields on the move. So how are the Bears able to maintain a lead deep into this game? Well, the Lions helped them. Three interceptions of Jared Goff. So that's a good day on defense. How did that happen? Well, the first one here is just kind of a matter of bad luck and some timing. You'll see Tyreek Stevenson, the cornerback here, doing a great job of playing over the top, reading the quarterback, getting ready to break on the throw but it's this exchange. You have this, this safety is working out to cover the flat. The tight end is right here. Basically, these two just run into each other. Goff expects them to be in that window, but Tyreek Stevenson doing a great job keeping his eyes on the QB, makes a beautiful catch. First down for the Bears. Now, the next two interceptions were by linebackers, believe it or not. And we've talked here in the film room about the cheese route. Watch the way TJ Edwards takes care of this one. It's a beautiful thing. TJ Edwards, you'll see him at the top of your screen. As we get to the top of our drop, this is just a four under three deep type of a situation. The Lions are given the cheese route right here. Here's the short one. They want the linebacker to bite up on it and then run the receiver right underneath it. But he knows what's coming. So he's able to work out here to the outside. Notice there's no, there's no work up here, no receivers. Bends his way back in and comes out of vision of the quarterback. So you have to be very careful throwing the football underneath. Watch this break, boom, quarterback didn't even see it, Goff didn't even see it coming. Great job by these linebackers in underneath coverage. So after that big play, Tremaine Edmonds says, it's my turn. Again, with the cheese route, that's what they're trying to do here. You watch zone coverage, Tremaine Edmonds just getting to his spot. And the offenses do this on purpose. They put that receiver right at the sticks to get this underneath linebacker to bite. They also, behind them, have a kind of a deep crosser to occupy the safety. It's the second guy through the zone that they're trying to get to. Edmonds looks like he's going to bite on this outside route, but watch what he does. Eyes on the quarterback, steps back into the lane, intercepts the football, first down for the Bears. So three interceptions and a fumble recovery on special teams. These Bears were almost, they were plus four, plus three to take gift. So for the Vikings to continue their success in the NFC North and win on Monday night, first thing you gotta do is get after Justin Fields. You can't let this guy get comfortable in the pocket. He's starting to figure it out. He's good, especially when he gets on the edges. The second thing, be careful in between the hash marks. These linebackers, these safeties from the Bears, they're pretty good. We keep it on the positive side of that take give. We'll come away with the victory on Monday Night Football.